Hey, how's it going YouTube? Jacob here for the J2H channel. Today we have a random haul. If you haven't been noticing, um, I've been filming kind of in batches uh, because currently, as you are listening to this, it is my busy time of the year, January through April. Quite busy. Uh, six, seven days a week. Six days, hopefully not seven. Um, so I'm filming in batches, and I only say that because I usually do like, my cap usually for a random haul is like ten titles. And then ten titles. I figure ten titles is... Uh, usually right about where uh, people either lose interest or the video goes too long or it's enough titles to keep people's interest either way and playing around with that um, I think I have seven or eight titles in this um, enough to you know cap off this like round of filming um, just try to keep myself uh, uh, what's the word try to keep myself relevant but also like you know, I'm, I'm just busy it just happens you know I, I film stuff a lot afterwards and if you've been on the channel long enough I think I've been around for four years this year. Uh, you know that. It's kind of four or five years this year. Um, just kind of how it goes. So anyway, got a ton of stuff here. <laughs> I just contradicted myself. Got a, I got an array of stuff. It's good stuff, though. Some of it I'm very excited about. Um, so yeah, let's let's check it out without any further ado. And if I was good, I'd throw an intro here and everything else, but I just don't have the time. I've worked on the outro, though. I think I got that down packed. The first thing, first two things, are from the Disney Movie Club, and there's a little story to this. So if you're part of the movie club, you know what a super VIP is and their benefits, and if you don't, I'll just explain it. Um, so everybody who joins the Disney Movie Club is a VIP. Everybody. That's how it works. Um, everybody who's made their three titles, three bought their three commitment titles. And then there's a super VIP if you're one of those people who doesn't just cancel their membership every month. I believe um, you're like a super VIP. The only benefits a super VIP has that it's a regular VIP doesn't is they have a concierge service, meaning you can call and they will recommend you a movie to buy out of their catalog. And they have disc replacement, which I've used. I've filmed in my videos. Uh, I tried that with Solo. It didn't work uh, because they didn't send a slip. And uh, Avengers Endgame, it did because my disc was scratched for whatever reason. Basically, you get three year, and if your disc gets ruined, your case gets broken, stolen, whatever. They'll replace your disc as long as you've purchased it through the Disney Movie Club absolutely free. Free of cost, three a year. Now, I have never purchased these titles for myself before but a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away, a friend of mine um, who a lot of you know I'm sure, uh, I can kind of guess uh, did a, uh, a, a combined order to get the free shipping basically to maximize the Disney Movie Club uh, which I don't see anything wrong with. And <clears throat> it's like crazy snowing outside. <laughs> Sorry, I was peeking. Um, to maximize everything. So when I started marathoning my Pixar movies recently, I've realized like, oh, so-and-so bought two Pixar movies I've never seen before. And I could get them essentially for free based on the allowances of the Disney Movie Club. So that's what I did. So I've already personally thanked him. And I've gotten two Pixar movies on 4K for free that I'd never seen before. Um, and I'm very excited. I say that. I just watched this two nights ago. But I hadn't seen before. Um, so the first one is Rat Tattooey. Rat Tattooey. Um, super cute movie. I've never seen this. I've seen the ending before. Uh, my sister used to own the DVD back in the day. But I'd never watched this all the way through. Uh, and I've, I have now. I've since watched it. Uh, very cute movie. Uh, if you didn't know, I'm currently rewatching all of the Pixar movies, my wife and I, between the down times between our when our TV shows are on. Uh, I can't watch them too late because Pixar movies keep the sun awake. He is very into Pixar. Um, I think the only one he hasn't been super into was Up. I don't think he was a big fan of Up. Neither was I, to be fair. Um, but um, Red Tattooey, the first one I got. Uh, this one's since been opened. So that's the first item. Second item. This one I haven't seen. I've opened. Probably to grab the digital code out of. Um, but I have I have yet to see. And that is Inside Out. So this one is like 18, 19, 17. No, it's, it's earlier than that. 15 or 16 maybe on the, the Pixar shelf. I currently, uh, especially so for those who want to time these videos and when I'm recording and, you know, inside knowledge. Uh, I just watched Toy Story 3 before I ran in here to film when my son was asleep. So, Inside Out. Um, never seen it before. Really excited to see this one. Um, I think it's one of the the more well-liked ones recently, I think. Um, I don't know. 
will have to let me know. And I'm sure I'll formulate my own opinion, but and I'll keep. I think I'm keeping Ratatouille. Uh, I liked it enough, and we'll see if uh, we'll see if I keep Inside Out. I don't know why I just did that, but it's super planned packaging. You saw it in the thumbnail. I'm not going to get it. Um, this next thing is from. So those were Disney Movie Club. This one is from Disney Movies Insiders. Um, so the codes you redeem used to be Disney Movie Rewards. Now it's Insiders. So again, based on the Pixar marathon, I grabbed this movie. It's one of the only ones that came with Blu-ray and digital. From the yuck, from the service. Cars. Now I remember watching this as a kid. I remember really enjoying it. My nephews really enjoy this movie. My son really enjoyed it. Um, cars uh, might upgrade this to 4k I don't know basically I just got it for free because I had points and I wanted to watch it uh, in HD and get the code I didn't own it digitally although Disney Plus is a thing but you never know one day you might not have Disney Plus I thought the same thing about Netflix I currently don't have Netflix I think the service is garbage um, personally you know anyway cars on blu-ray just the standard blur if they had it on 4k I would have redeemed it for 4k um, the only one I could have grabbed but didn't was Coco because I own that one digitally. Uh, and I don't I don't know that I'm going to be a huge fan of that one. That was one of the ones I'm not looking forward to. So, I don't know. So, hey, the first three items, Disney Pixar. <clears throat> the next item was from Amazon. I love these new packages they have. Like, this isn't folded in half. This is the exact size of it. Like, perfect for a movie. See ya. Uh, this is a Mill Creek title. First Mill Creek title in... Like five years I've had to purchase, um, a little falling out with the company, I don't think it's my fault. Maybe by the time this video airs it'll be fixed, but uh, I love this movie. I was going to support it either way, whether they sent it to me, whether I bought it. A man of my word, I purchased it. love this movie, I'm glad it finally got an upgrade. It's about time, accepted. Got it. Accepted. Uh, ask me about my wiener. No, I'm just kidding. Um, hilarious movie. I don't think this one gets enough love. Uh, and I was talking to a friend of the show, Jersey Geek. Greg, uh, if you haven't checked his channel out, I have yet to plug it as of this day. I'm such a bad friend, but I'm so busy. This movie is like 11, no, 06. It's like 15 years old already. That's insane. I remember when this came out. Uh, but just just a fantastic movie. I love this movie. Um, I bought the DVD, I think, from that family video. Uh, the family video uh, right down the road that is now closed. Um, but I bought the DVD because the Blu-ray wasn't available, and then I upgraded to just the code. Now I've got it on physical move, physical media on Blu-ray. So, thank you, Mill Creek, for this. Very much looking forward to that. I think Rick and I called this like years ago. Like Mill Creek should put out Accepted, and it could have been someone. But Joe might have been in the group chat. We've talked about this for a minute. Maybe not Joe. I know he's not a big fan of comedies. Speaking of family video, if you've watched. The Family Video Hall, which I don't know if it's aired yet. I don't know how I'm going to be releasing these. It depends on my my mood, my vibe on the day of. Um, in that video, potential spoiler, um, I bought this from the Family Video. Bought this from the Family Video for like $5. Sure enough, within three days, this was on sale for $4.45, brand new with all the contents from Amazon. So I bought it because I wanted the digital code. Highly doubt this will make the shelf, but... Irresistible with Steve Carell and Rose Byrne. Um, still haven't seen this, even though there's two copies in this. I say that, you, you all might think I'm bluffing. Hold on just a second. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. Damn my impulse buying. It's five bucks, just the Blu-ray. Already been watched. Four dollars, brand spanking new, contain the Blu-ray and the slip. What is wrong with me? So I just needed the code, that's what's wrong with me. But... And hopefully those will, I don't know, I'll get rid of them somehow. So Irresistible, again, I know nothing about this movie. It was a 2020 movie that I believe came right to streaming about June, maybe August. I can't remember. I think June. Just looking forward to checking it out. Universal release. <clears throat> the next movie I have seen, and I was a pretty big fan of this, um, Pete Davidson in The King of Staten Island. Um don't know whether this is going to be bought for just the code or the movie. I'll have to rewatch it. My wife hasn't seen it, so maybe that'll maybe that'll put it over the edge. But I really liked it. Um, I would, enough where I rented it for like twenty bucks, uh, and then they put it up for four dollars. Are you kidding me? Um, fantastic, four dollars for this. If you haven't seen this yet, 
I don't think it's four dollars anymore, but you should have bought it for four dollars. Next up, if you've watched the channel even for a couple months, I talked in my Black Friday haul about I was so disappointed this item wasn't ten dollars because I've bought this item or the alternative, which was the previous show, on DVD for ten dollars for like seven years. Ten years. A long time. And they, for whatever reason, it didn't get marked down on Black Friday to 10 bucks. Sure enough, guess what happened in the middle of January? Young Sheldon, Season 3, <clears throat> $10. I knew it was going to happen. It was just a matter of time. Maybe it was COVID. I'll blame it on COVID. But you better fix yourself by the time this November rolls around. I've bought the third season of a show I've never seen an episode of. My wife is chomping at the bit to watch it every time we finish a TV show. Right now we're watching... Uh, uh, Clone Wars. Uh, she talks like, can we start Young Sheldon? So we're we're gonna watch it. Hopefully, I'm a fan. Otherwise, I'll have three seasons up for sale. <laughs> but um, yeah, Young Sheldon, a show I started buying on Blu-ray and they moved to Warner Archive, so I stopped and they still put them out on Blu-ray. So maybe I should have kept on. Maybe if the show ends and it's still available all seasons on Blu-ray, I'll upgrade. Really, just depends on how much I like it. But ten dollars finally. Thank you. You came to your senses. Young Sheldon, Season 3. The last item, I have since recorded an um, entire video on, but it made the shelf, I'm keeping it, like legit keeping it. Not Sometimes sometimes with the review titles I get, I don't keep them. You know, I have limited space, and I've, I, I'm a digital media collector and a physical, I do both, go both ways, but... I don't, I just don't have room for everything. I just don't. So I, I usually give them away, send them to friends. I let friends borrow them, and then sometimes I get them back. You never know. And that happened with Bombshell, and just never got it back. Um, you know, stuff like that happens. I've, I've one or two I may have donated. Um, but this one I'm 100% keeping, adding to the shelf. Usually if I show them in these collection videos, or these haul videos, if I include review titles, I'm keeping those. If they've made it into the review titles... I pick the titles to film these on based on what I'm filtering into my shelves. That helps. SpongeBob, the complete season 12. I need so badly season 10. I have seasons 1 through 9 <clears throat> on that complete series release. No, not complete series. First 100 episodes, first 100 episodes is like the first 5 seasons. Second 100 episodes, second 100 episodes, I'm going too fast, is 4 through 9. I need 10, I'm, I have a gap. Season 11, which I just reviewed way later than I should have, and now season 12. Um, I need to uh, I need to get on my horse and review season 12. Or, buy season 10. I've already reviewed season 12. I did that the very first thing as soon as I sat down today. So, season 12 and all of its sponge bobbiness. So, that's the haul. 13 minutes, that's almost perfect. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's get this bread, show the haul off. Not, I mean... One-hander, nothing, nothing too crazy, but Spongebob Season 12, Young Sheldon Season 3, King of Staten Island, Irresistible, Accepted, Ask Me About My Wiener, Cars, Inside Out, and Rat Tattooey. How do you guys say it? Rat Tattooey? Rat Tattooey? <coughs> my throat's so dry. Um, Rat Patootie. So that's the haul. Awesome. Very excited. The Pixar movies. This is what we're into. Like I said, we've watched... Oh, the, yesterday we went to go see Monster Hunter in the actual theater. In the actual movie theaters in Michigan. Holy shit. But I think we're... like We were with like 10 in a row. That's all we've been doing is Pixar movies and old Royal Rumbles. But that's besides the point. So thank you guys so much for watching. I very much appreciate your support uh, and the love and everything. Make sure you check out the podcast. I'm still filming those. Still live episodes of those going out no matter how busy I get. Um, he, he's pretty good about wrangling me, Mr. Crazy Joe. Link in the description. My Instagram, my Twitter, my eBay, my Blu-ray.com. My TV time, where we're going to do all the TV shows I, I watch. So if I'm not on here constantly, I know I'm back on, I'm backed up on comments and likes again. Uh, I'm so far behind on people's videos. But, um, I always update my TV time, because that's how I log the stuff. So if you need, you know, if you're a fan of TV time, you're a fan of what I'm watching on TV, follow me on there. Same with Letterbox, although I'm even further behind on Letterbox because I have to write a review. Um, I think I'm well, 12 Pixar episode, Pixar movies behind on Letterbox, but I will update that when I get them. 
Uh, and if you have a letterbox, I'd appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you later. Hey, have you liked yet? Have you subscribed yet? Go ahead and smash that notification bell as well. And also check out these additional options. We've got a video you may or may not enjoy. We've got a playlist. You'll probably enjoy it. It should contain this video if I did it correctly. And also, go ahead and uh, show that subscribe button some love. I would appreciate it.